Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and we are like two seconds after I've poured this painting here. Um, and I'm like looking at it going, that's really cool. And I've still got some paint left in the bottom of the cup. So what am I going to do with that? Um, I've got a couple of little wooden pieces here that, um, you know, I've gessoed on one side and they're fun, but they don't take a lot of paint. And then I spotted this egg that's left over from Easter. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Look at all that paint on the ground. That's so pretty too. And move you over here. Now, these eggs um, have a little bung in the bottom of them where the where they've been like held and then it gets filled once they're dry um so i've just pushed that inside so we're making an egg rattle <laughs> um and what i'm going to try is rolling up a piece of straw like have a look around what and ask the question, what can I use here? What will make this fun and easy? And I'm just going to stick that up its bum. There we go. Now I need to find somewhere to put that. Because I'd like it to be able to stand up. Um... Do, 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 do. If I put a piece of tape, would that hold? Or should I just pour it and turn it? That's a good idea. All right. Is there any more blue that wants to come and play in the house? Yes. Is there any more gold that wants to play? Yes. And let's just grab some of that as well. All right. Are you ready for this? Just gonna pour, pour, and pour, and pour. And pour. And just keep pouring, really. And then just check that the whole thing has covered all the way around the bottom. Yes, it is. And then I'm going to... Do one more pour with the last of the paint. Okay, let that pour there, and let's see what magic I can create on here. Like that. Run down the sides on that one. Eek, it's too close. I can't see what I'm doing. Yep, that 
one's done. I'll just pick up some gold off the ground. Let's see if that wants to come and play on the round one. So pretty. It looks like a snail. Oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I do like this though. Awesome. I like those. Now, this one is not happy. There's something that it desires to be that it's not being right now. So I'm going to move it out. Zoom you in. Now that it's got all its paint on there, let's see what it will do. Once the whole thing's covered in paint, it just can run wherever it desires. That's a lot better. But there's still just one more bit that it desires to have on it. Or maybe I desire to have it on. Some of you know what's coming. Very pretty little hearts. Oh, this is so cute. I like that better now. All right, guys. Going to leave these three to dry. And you'll get to see them later. How much fun can they have as they dry? I'm just going to turn that around there and let that do something else interesting that way. Cool. All right. I'm going to go inside and make dinner. Have fun, guys. I adore you. And I'll be back when they're dry. Bye-bye. Welcome forward to the Magical Mystery Tour. <laughs> so, let's have a look. How did this egg go? It looks super cool. It does, I admit, look a lot like it's been marbled. Um, the cool thing about this option is it dries a lot quicker than marbling. If you've done any, well, it depends what you marble with, I suppose. If you use oil marbling, when I've done oil marbling, it's taken absolutely forever to dry. But this dried real quick. So, there's a fast version of marbling, if that's what you're after. 
let's get this straw back out. What would you do with eggs? Especially at this time of year. <laughs> if it was April, I could say, yeah, I know what you'd do with it, but it's not. What would you do with an egg like this? How would you use it? How would you contribute to your life and living using an egg painted? Give it to a baby and call it a rattle. Yay! Mm, probably not. They'd chew that off pretty quick. Maybe if you actually, if you covered it in resin and left the rattle inside, then you could probably pull it off as a kid's toy. So that's the egg. And then we had our little piece of wood. And this wood, I don't know how to fix this. I've tried preparing it like that you know pre-painting and it still warps i'm not sure how to fix that um what i do with these though is i stick a piece of um magnet in the back and ding they become little magnets on fridges so that's an option for that i really like this one it's pretty super pretty imagine putting that on your fingernail Maybe I just blew it to my fingernail. Oh no, maybe not. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> creative weirdo, as uh, Mr. Kate says. That's me. I'm a creative weirdo. Yay. Um, this one, you know, this is a really good example, guys, of <laughs> using things that don't stick. Um of what happens when you use a unsmooth finish before you put the paint on it just sinks in and becomes unsmooth just like this has so this was really rough to start with and so it has a rough pitted kind of look to it it's texture guys texture somebody will love it and hey cover it in resin and you'll never know how does it get any better than that? But look at my love hearts, they're so pretty. So I now have a indented flower shape from what I sat it on and the paint got all over it. That's okay. We'll see what this one wants to be and do. See if it wants to be magic or whether it wants to be firewood. So there we go, guys. We have three very different little objects all came out of the same cup and um, all out of leftover paint so if you didn't see the video that this paint came from it will be linked in the end credits um, go check it out it was beautiful I love it it's absolutely stunning and um, you know all my paintings are for sale just be aware that the New Zealand government has a rule when shipping. Uh, well, I don't know if it's a new, new Zealand government or just the New Zealand post office. Um, if you're shipping art, um, then it is has to go via international courier if it's going internationally. And... Um, it's a lot more expensive. I managed to get it on the slow boat to China, no, to America. But it was, instead of $50 for shipping, it was $86 for shipping or $88 or something like that. So uh, not cheap to ship overseas, but the smaller ones would be a lot cheaper. That was one of my um, 16 by 12s, I think they are. Um, so yeah the 8 by 8s would be a lot cheaper than that but so if you are interested in any of my art and it doesn't have sold on the video touch base with me send me a message say hi and um, let's see what magic we can create together I adore you all have fun and 
What else is possible? Bye-bye.